That's going to run many homes in the U.S. during an outage and whole home backup with no problems. The way I like to think of power is it's kind of like how big is the engine? How much power do you have behind that engine? Right? That is based on the inverter. Next is how big is the fuel tank? That is your, uh, that is your energy stored, right? And so again, we've got 13.5 kilowatt hours of energy stored in those batteries and each inverter's got 11.5 kilowatts of punch behind that engine. Now, again, that 11.5 is pretty significant. That's roughly 48 amps uh, continuous. That's gonna run many homes in the US during an outage and whole home backup with no problems. But for those of you that might be in like Florida or Texas, you have multiple heating and air conditioning units, uh, a lot of large loads on your home, maybe a hot tub or pool pumps and things of that nature, you may want the whole, uh, you may need additional power, in which case you could buy multiple Powerwall 3s, so you're adding both more power and more energy. But for those customers that don't need more power, maybe you're in uh, kind of a more temperate zone, you only have one heating and air conditioning unit, no excessive energy draws in your home, you know, you can get by with a Tesla Powerwall 3 and then just add a DC expansion unit, which is, again, going to add more fuel to the tank. You're not increasing that size of that engine.